thing of boom flares is slice, stab forward, rewind the rack, rear, yeah, rewind, <laughs> rewind the record, leave the fader open. So, which is the first four sounds of the boomerang. Then you do a two click flare forward and back. Then half a chirp forward. Then a reverse dice. So it's 12 sounds. Which is kind of awkward because like four bars of music, uh, four bars, sorry, four beats or one bar is 16 sounds. So you've kind of got to keep it going over and over again in like a cross rhythm timing, which is what I was doing with the beat before. The process of learning the boom flare for me was writing it out on paper, what it should sound like, and then I watched a tutorial and I slow it down on YouTube to 25%, I think it is, so it's a lot slower so I can kind of try and understand what's going on and then I just do these movements really slowly and deliberately. I don't even sit at the turntable, I just imagine doing the crossfader and record movements like in the air because I kind of I've connected that in my brain how it would how it would sound. Um, then I come onto the turntable and try it really slowly without the beat and then try it with a slow beat and then that fast beat you heard me trying it on I was really surprised I just kind of did it straight away but I think it's because I've spent so much time thinking about it in my head and kind of understanding the theory. The hardest thing about this pattern for me was that it's only 12 notes and in a bar of music there's 16 notes on the 16th notes. So you do 12 but then you've got um, yeah four missing. <laughs> My maths is terrible. So you, you kind of have to just keep repeating the pattern over and over and not think about the bars because there'll be four repetitions of this pattern over three bars when it starts again on the one so it can be like a little bit confusing and you just kind of got, got to ignore it and kind of get into the flow so hopefully that's helpful for you I'm going to do a few uh, a full tutorial and break it down really slowly and show you the best ways to learn you can do it through once and make it is 12 sounds one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's 12 sounds, and then you can just pause and then start again on the one for the next bar. There's a couple of things you can do um, to make it easier. Just want to thank, um, I think it's Rob D who made the tutorial, and there's a couple of guys in the school that wanted me to cover this. I think they can already actually do it, and they've made videos, which I'm going to check out now. But yeah, this is a new format. I thought I'd kind of just play around with showing you stuff really loosely and then if you do want to join the school and kind of go into more detail then you can do that. It's not compulsory, you can learn on YouTube from like free videos. What I find helpful or I think what people find helpful about the school is that it's kind of in a learning order plus you've got the support of all these really 
cool DJs, really supportive, um, just a lovely bunch of people that will help you out, tell you where you're going wrong. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>